Boom. Music on my mind. I am here with Cherry Mantis. Four fits of the men. Where are we? Creative House. Creative House. House. And what are we doing here? Selling drugs. Whoa! <laughs> no, what are we, we really doing? No, we're not. No. <laughs> nah, we, we, we got a new album out called Sweet and Familiar. We're yeah, here to talk yeah, about yeah. that a little bit. For sure, for sure. Sweet and Familiar. I listened to the entire album. And please tell me, um, what what kind of music, what, what, what are we expecting from Sweet and Familiar? Dang, I got a little bit of everything in there for everybody. Um, I mean, our roots are definitely mainly in place in like indie and alternative, mm-hmm. but I mean... Uh, there's all there's funk in there. There's even a little like Midwestern emo kind of in there too, uh, from Michael stuff um, and pop as well. But I'll just a bunch of different genres, a little bit of there. everything. And this guy raps. Uh, oh, he does. Whoa. Yeah. Yeah, I do have sure. a verse. <laughs> um, and right off the bat, I want to ask uh, the album artwork for the, uh, for Sweden Familiar. Where where did you guys get the inspiration? Where did you guys get the idea of? Um, Oh, we'll put it right here of uh, what the people are seeing. Uh, that was a like a process of yeah. figuring that out. Yeah. yeah, trying to like find the right thing. For sure, it took a a long time because um, I I usually like to kind of have the art for something I'm working on like while we're working on it, like sure. towards the middle or end. But we just couldn't really figure out an idea. And Jenna, who's not here with us, had the idea of us having pictures of us as kids and then we just kind of snowballed into what we ended up having now and Roxanne worked on different versions and she, we just all sent like five to eight pictures from our families and was uh, it hard like looking for those pictures or my mom loved that <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> she's like of course yeah for sure <laughs> yeah I, I just had some in in my drawer so it wasn't that hard for me but I had my sister look for him back at uh, my parents' house and whatnot, but it wasn't too hard. I don't think yeah. they're at the top. Yeah, my mom posts a lot on Facebook. I just went down to photos. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> nice, nice. Download, download, download for sure. Yeah. Um, and uh, going through the entire song list, I'm going to put it right here as well, uh, but going through the entire song list, what are some of the um, the hits? What are some of your favorite songs? Um, which ones would you want to promote the most? Oh, Dang, that's I'm gonna go first so no one steals mine. <laughs> uh, probably Professor X would be my favorite off the album, that's at least right now. Like, yeah, he knew I was uh, gonna pick it. Huh? He knew that was a good one. It was a good one. I would prefer uh, uh, promote the first track, "Sweet." Um, I, I love that sweet? song. Yeah, I love that song. Dope. Um, a drive. I guess the uh, the one that everyone already kind of knows, and it wasn't even a single, was "Familiar." Everyone. Uh, it's usually the song that we finish the sets with. For sure. Everyone, uh, their first time hearing it is usually pretty mind blown. So I'll, oh, yeah. I'll oh, say no, that's I'll say that's it, the one. It's yeah. a face melter for yeah. sure. Face man. melter. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, for me, it would be cherry lime juice. That's kind of been my favorite. But I just like the kind of like late '90s alternative vibe. Yeah, to it. for sure, for sure. Um, the and, the juice, like yeah. the juice part. I, I'm <laughs> sure I'm going to be yelling it with. Whatever voice I have left, <laughs> I'm gonna be yelling it at Caves tonight. Which, by the way, what's going on tonight? Tonight oh, we have nice. our release show with okay. Aiden Trammell and New Avenues at Caves Lounge. Yeah, Caves. doors at eight. Uh, music starts at nine. We're sure to be outside. Yeah, be this is this is our first time playing outside. Outside, so at Caves. At, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, no, ever, <laughs> ever. Uh, yeah, because like Caves <laughs> is great. It's fun, but like sometimes on the inside. Gets a little, gets a little, gets a little steamy. Feel like a sardine in there. Yeah. <laughs> it gets a little. Might as well, uh, since we're gonna be outside anyways, it'll be. Yeah, yeah. yeah. we'll be musty outside, sure. so that's a lot. A great better. bonding experience, nonetheless. <laughs> yeah, for sure. I'm um, going back to the album. Where did we get the name "Sweet and Familiar"? So that actually kind of took a second too. Yeah. It definitely came before the art had come, though. But yeah. um, I don't even remember what the other titles were playing. But "Sweet" is the first track of the album. The "Familiar" is the final one. Right. And then I think that kind of inspired, that was, inspired yeah. the, the mm-hmm. kid collage yeah. photo as well. Because we we we've like halfway through working on it, we didn't we just didn't have a name. I think when me and Lewis were writing some of the songs a while ago, familiar was always like what we thought we would name whatever project familiar's on. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then just as we're working on it, I just think as the songs got added on, and I I was going through. Like different track lists and stuff, and when I uh, 
I was talking to Lewis or something about because me and him would discuss like how we were going to track stuff out all the time and I originally had cherry lime juice first and we didn't have a name yet so then when I put it together I put sweet at the top and we had familiar thing and I was just like because I, I did that on my uh, mixtape I did a while ago so I'm just like um, if it ain't broke could you imagine <laughs> in like an alternate alternate universe it would be uh, cherry lime juice and familiar like that would be like yeah, I see. You know, yeah. it just didn't. It didn't really flow. <laughs> Lion and familiar. Lion and familiar. I mean, it was almost Tasty Jams too. So Ooh. that was <laughs> that was that was a mistake. For sure. Um, what are some highlight? Uh, maybe like highlighted lyrics or highlighted stories of um, the the music that you guys kind of like each have. Start with you, Michael. Oh no, you. No, you no, got no, it. Start you with got you. It. I don't have anything. Um, start with you. Oh, you sing so much more than I do, though. <laughs> you have so many more than I do. Yeah, one, yeah you have okay. a whole song. Uh, okay. Here's the story. Fine. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the track, October. Okay. Uh, that's one that I wrote entirely and then brought in and was like, you guys are going to play this. <laughs> um, <laughs> Freddie Mercury does. Yeah. Nice. Um, and that tune is about my amazing girlfriend, Anna. So- um, yeah, she's really special. So I had to write a song about her. Hey, wow. Wow. Super cool. so yeah. beautiful. That's so beautiful. Do we want to go down the liner? Yeah, yeah, we go, yeah Gabe, go ahead. Yeah, the song I wrote with Jenna, the mi- A Million Choices. Mm-hmm. Um, she did all the words. I didn't really have any kind of idea on storyline. Uh, but it was a, a kind of like demo song just for fun that I've had um, that I definitely wanted to bring forward. Um, I was just like in this like new disco phase new disco like disco club i guess yeah, but, yeah, like sure. more guitar driven um so it was super exciting to see how jenna took it and, and then made it into something that actually made it right. adding the sense. words adding yeah, the story yeah. kind of thing like, yeah for sure for sure yeah I, I think with without that it it was quite a full it wasn't quite a full idea yet mm-hmm. even if like yeah, the, the structure was done. They really put it together. That's why y'all have each other, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. Honestly, yeah, that's, gotta, that's... gotta work together, Justin. Man, um, what is the question again? What's our favorite um, song? Favorite, favorite song or like a highlight of the like album? A lyrical thing? Um, um, yeah. lyrical as well. I got a, a couple. I was me and Lewis were working on um, Cherry Lime Juice because we were trying to get a song that's like Biba Doobie ish, if you ever heard her. And so, like, we were just like sitting here. And it's like watching different videos, and I think we just came to the conclusion that to make a song like that, you just have to make the most simple, like lyrics, something that is catchy. So you you mentioning the juice thing is good because that was like our whole point of it. So yeah. like he had I don't know how you came up with the music there were a part. A couple of songs though we had heard that was like had random like obscure flavored foods. Yeah. Like one was like banana pie or something. Okay. I was like, That's interesting. Yeah. So I kind of liked that concept a little bit for it. And and so yeah we just because we, we, we did cherry lime because like cherry lime juice isn't really a thing. So mm-hmm. we did cherry lime at first and I was like that just lime cherry lime aid. aid. Just kind of. <laughs> Kind of doesn't hit. It doesn't hit. So I think, yeah. So we, I wrote the, we were here and I, we were outside at a point and I just was writing. I was like, what sounds cheesy and good? And so I, the, the hook, I like the watching new girl. I'm a new girl fanatic. I've watched 10 times. Do not judge me. Those are my friends. Anyway. Uh, But, uh, so yeah, just the, the, the hook was just like something, you know, cheesy and love and all that stuff. So I think cherry lime juice is, yeah, it's, it's ooey gooey. Yeah, uh, I say for me, uh, Tiptoeing, because that's a song we've had for like a really, really long time, mm. like probably like 2019 even yeah, or something like yeah, that. Definitely. And I'm sorry to like the people I know that specifically <laughs> asked me, they're like, when is this coming out? I was like, ah, <laughs> Some, sometime, sometime. But um, uh, so no, but the lyrics in that are very nice. It's very warm feeling just uh, about falling in love and whatnot. But I also just like the... The way the lyrics matches the mood of the song and the the way the chords uh, bind it all together lyrically and whatnot, but we want that nice. to, to be out for a long time for sure. As well. For sure, and we, we talked a little bit about uh, the writing process, but what what is that like as a band together, like writing all of these songs and some of the songs you've had as uh, part of your EPs and singles, but uh, the newer songs, the ones that are just now released, what was that writing process like for everybody? Mm. It's kind of a mix um, of different things because, 
like for the ones that Michael writes, and you can chime in on this, of course, if you'd like. But he's he, like, oh, I will. He tends to write <laughs> the whole thing himself, and yeah. even yeah. like our individual parts a lot of the time. Yeah. And um, but I mean, it's always a masterpiece. Oh, well, so, thank you. Yeah. yeah. Um, a, a lot of it though is like super collaborative. So like someone might bring something in, and it's dope, and I'll be like, okay, but what if on the bridge mm-hmm. we go to a mm-hmm. weird chord and do something yeah. there, and then like familiar happened we were kind of just goofing around yeah and then like a song happened yeah and we we're like oh we should not hey, forget look at that because yeah, <laughs> Cause, yeah, yeah. familiar might i mean I, I, there's a bunch of songs on there um that we've been playing for a while and I, <laughs> but i just familiar maybe started like after we taste we dropped tasty jams mm-hmm. i think lewis already had like Something. Yeah, maybe like a verse and chorus pattern. But yeah. No, for sure. And the but, second half of it came together with everybody. Yeah. yeah. That's like the one of the the main track that has like everyone yeah. on it added yeah. something mm-hmm. that And it, it wasn't originally in five, was it? It was. It was? Okay. It was. Okay, that cool. Was, okay. Yeah. But I don't <laughs> so I wanted it to be complex from the start. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um change is an interesting one too, because that was just a riff that we would goof around on like during sound check at shows and whatnot. Nice, and then nice. one day we were in a rehearsal and we were like, hey, what was, what was that thing again? I was like, ah. I have to force <laughs> Lewis to do anything unless he like really wants to do it. He plays like a million riffs and I'm like, that should be a song. And he's like, oh yeah, for sure. And we'll go 10 years and it won't be a song. So that was one that he'd always play. So I was like, yeah. we are going to make it a song. And Jenna, uh, oh, no, we are gonna, yeah, like, yeah it's gonna happen. Sure. I had Jenna yes. write, you know, like, um, just have a come up with the idea and then me and her finish the lyrics. And, uh, there's just, and then there's other stuff that, like, with Professor X, I know, like, we keep talking about that one, but it's that was a that was like a that was a riff that Lewis had when we worked on on like Heat Wave or something, mm-hmm. okay. Um, like two years ago yeah and it, it was like it it always starts out with like riffs and stuff that we are probably never gonna do anything with and if <laughs> it's just somebody gets fed up and like we're gonna make this a song it's gonna be a song yeah and I, and we wrote th- that one it's like he ha- he came in, over here to kingstone studios Sorry. and just recorded a guitar on a loop and i just like went to work and we just listened to the loop and ended up writing and then everyone came in and did their parts and it's pretty fire and that's a perfect segue into my next question. What's the uh, production side of it looking like? Or what did it look like uh, from start to, to the finished product? Yeah, well, I mean, all of us um, at this point have a lot of experience in the studio. Mm-hmm. So when we started this, we started recording this like like the day after Heat Wave came out or something. And uh, we, we started in the kitchen studios in Dallas. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. And then we recorded some other stuff at Paper Tone Studio with Aaron mm-hmm. Payton. Sure. And then we just ended up kind of finishing everything here at Kingstone. Yeah. Um, we have like a mixture of program stuff and then like live drums. For sure. And uh, yeah, I mean, some stuff we all did together mm-hmm. and then some stuff we ended up kind of just laying a foundation here and then everyone coming to record. And But mm-hmm. a lot of the older ones are, are older ones to us. We went to the studio and all kind of yeah. ran it together for sure a few of the newer ones it was like i showed up to record my part and i was like figuring out my part yeah here i was like okay this is what yeah, this song will be play it all together top of fire man just recorded. gotta put you out there yeah. Yeah. yeah gabe's song um was all i mean you can talk about it but it was it was all, all in gabe. pieces just yeah. like individually sent um a whole bunch of just bits of pieces of it uh and then it wasn't until like Weeks ago that we actually finally put it together. Yeah, it's all crazy. We were like, put it together? Yeah, that was like the yeah, last one. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. And, you know, because Jenna, she had, she she ended up changing like a lot about the song because she had an original verse. And um, I mean, the, the the song is still the same, like the, the story and everything. But she ended up kind of like, that was like the last thing we did is her mm-hmm. laying her vocals and her keys because Gabe like played everything. And program the drums and stuff, and then we just ended up redoing what he already wrote here. For sure. And that the, that and, and Paradise were the first time that like I recorded live drums here with 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 Crazo. That was before then we would just program like Assumptions and uh, and Lion. We programmed the drums here. Like, for sure, yeah, so. for sure, for sure. Um, and 
By the way, the Paradise music video, great. Amazing. <laughs> but like a little clip right here and all that. Also shot here. <laughs> also and shoot everything here. Yeah, where at? The, we used the living room. We used, <laughs> the, we, used the, we, used the, we used the backyard of the, what's it called? Did you tell me? The Create House. Create House. house. Create Sorry, house. guys. I'm bad yeah. at plugging my own place. <laughs> but we shot in the backyard, too. Front yard. Yeah, front yard as well. And where did we go? We went to a bingo hall, too. The one... Like, down the street. Yeah, yeah, down yeah, the street. It was next yeah. to, like, a... Like a save a lot or something. Yeah, like, like a dollar that. store. Yeah. We, in we, Arlington, Texas. And we tried to yeah. shoot... The, we, I mean, we did shoot in the dollar store. Nice. But, like... They did not want us to. <laughs> <laughs> and they started walking towards us. Yeah. At the end of it. Like, like we'd have to like, sh like this, like okay, we'll record no, no, Gabe and Lily, and then okay, run, and then record them doing something else. Because sure. the, the the employees were not, they weren't having a good time with us being there. Yikes! Um, do we have any plans on making uh, music videos for the new songs, uh, or are there already plans made uh, for a music video? Yeah, we we're, we. Professor X again. Oh, there it is. Uh, yeah, sure, uh, sure, that, sure. that was, we were going to try to do a video earlier in the year, but just like our schedules and we're poor. So yeah, we, money <laughs> got in the way. yeah, things, like that. things did not line up. Uh, but we're, we're, we're in talks of making something happen uh, pretty soon. If, if you could pick the song, I guess Professor X for you, Absolutely. but if you could pick individually a song to make a music video for. Familiar would be cool. That'd be like a cinematic a experience, yeah. 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 <laughs> uh, Tiptoeing, okay. Mm. Uh, it's very visual. Uh, I uh, cherry lime juice for me. I think like we don't have. I mean, we don't have. Again, Paradise is the only video we got. So like, I would want to make a lot if we could. Mm. So. For sure, for sure. I would say sweet for me. Nice. Yeah, I think it'd be fun. A yeah. Nice light video. Sure. <laughs> nice. Can y'all do one for um, tasty shoes? Tasty sushi. And just like eat at a sushi restaurant. <laughs> just, just, that would be I'll, so I'll get the tap. I'll get the tap. For four just, minutes. Just, yeah. just, eat, just eat. Just us eating sushi. sushi. We need to do a Jello one as well. Just, just us eating Jello. Corner okay, room or something. ASMR. Go to Sonic in the corner <laughs> room. That's dark. Go to Sonic and get like a cherry lime aid. Yes. Ah, cherry lime juice. Ooh, that's kind of good. Kinda that's kind of good. Nice. We'll plug in all of those things. I'll take my sponsorship now, please. I need one now. Think, but. Boys, is there anything else that we need, that we want to talk about about the album, about what's going on um, in the future? Stream it. Stream uh, it. It's everywhere. For sure. And, uh, keep an eye out for those music videos and whatnot. And again, come to Caves tonight if you're in the DFW area. Even though this will be well, posted. I, yeah, that's you cut <laughs> you cut that out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> you know, thanks for coming to Caves. Yeah, yeah. yeah thanks to everyone yeah. that you're uh, real. <laughs> Uh, no, I mean, do, Michael. Do we want to talk about the 13th? I was about to say, future oh, plugs for yeah, sure. Wait. So, Friday, October 13th, we're playing at the Levitt Pavilion in Arlington, opening up for Tank and the Bangas. Tank and the Bangas. So, that'll be really dope. Be Another awesome. outside show. Yes. Yeah, and yeah. this is our first time playing the Levitt, and it's Congratulations a pretty dope on show. That, by the it's way. pretty yeah. dope Thank show. You. Thank you. Awesome. That's super Bye. cool. Yeah, that's the main thing. Stream the album, please. Please. And yeah, videos coming soon. We might do some like live playthrough stuff too. So sure. yeah. it's gonna be awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Well, boys, um, y'all are gonna rock Caves Lounge. Y'all are gonna do great. I know you will. And you are about to watch that in three, two, one. Anyone want to say anything before I do that? Balls. No. Three, two, one. Okay. There we go. <laughs>
Thank you. This next one's called Cherry Lime Juice. Justin likes to point out, and uh, yeah, this is Paradise. Hey, my paradise, a feature could be nice. Loving you is easy, like making chicken and rice. I'm not sure what I did to deserve it, but I'ma make damn sure I preserve it. Yeah. 
ridiculous assumption to remain. What makes you think that you know shit about me? A lot of missions you could say.
Thank you. Joe Smith and William, real time off.